So in this Power World video, I will bring you the ultimate guide to all 28 special combinations in regards to breeding within this game. There's some unique things here, guys, which can only be achieved via breeding two specific parents. And today in this ultimate guide, I'll showcase you everything you need to know in order to achieve such powers. Now, before we go any further, guys, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. So if you're yet to land this game yet, here's your chance. So to win for either yourself or a friend, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. I will announce winners at the end of the week. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so breeding in Power World is something many, many people have invested plenty of hours in. And today, guys, I bring you a list, a special list of all 28 special combinations of powers you can breed, specific powers you can only get via breeding the following two parents. So let's go, people. Okay, so first up, we have the Relaxosaurus Lux. Now, this is a power which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. And if you're interested in this dragon electric type power, his work suitability traits are a level three in that generating electricity and a level one in that transporting. So to get this dude guys, you need to breed two specific parents and they are the Relaxaurus and Sparky. It doesn't matter which one is male, which one is female. These must be the two parents that you breed together and you'll get the Relaxaurus Lux. So do what you gotta do there guys. Next up, we have the Insane Ram Nut. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, to be honest, people. But if this is a power you're interested in, its work suitabilities are a level two in that handling, a level two in transporting, and a level one in that mining. So to get this dude, guys, you need to breed, again, two specific parents. You need to breed Insane Ram and Maruf. These are the only two you can breed where you will get this specific power, the Insane Ram Nut. So do what you gotta do there, people. Next up, people, we have a pal called the Mal Christ. Now, this is a nice little blue looking cat who falls under the ice element type, who offers that level one in cooling and that level one in farming. Okay, so to breed this dude, guys, you need the mole. I think that's pronounced mole, mole, the mole, and a pangolet. So these need to be the two parents, people. Breed these at your breeding pen. Make sure you have those cakes too, obviously. And then the egg should result in a mole crisp. And there we have it. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Van Worm Christ. Now, this is a badass looking pal, I'm not gonna lie to ya, who falls under the elements of both ice and dark. So, pretty unique. He also offers a level two in cooling and a level three in transporting. So, if this is a dude you want, you need to breed the Van Worm and Foxicle. These are the two you must breed in order to get this baby. Simple. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Eat Fire Deer Terra. I believe that's pronounced that way. I'm probably wrong again. So this ground type power will offer you a level two in that lumber room. And if it's one you want, guys, you need to breed the parents of the Heathic Deer as well as Hang You. I mean, who names these? Surely they must know. There's idiots like me who can't pronounce the easiest of things on the best of days. Cut me a break, Power World. Cut me a break.
Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Halfedron Aqua. So if this is a power you're looking for and you're interested in, the parents must be the Alfindran and the Serpent. Breed these two together, guys, and you should get an Alfindran Aqua baby. Next up guys, we have the Pyrin Nut. So this Fire Dark Element Pal will offer you a level 2 in that Kindling and a level 1 in that Lumber. Now to get this guys, you need to breed. The parents must be a Pyrin as well as a Catrus. So breed these two together and you should get a Pyrin Nut. Baby. Next up guys, we have the Mama Rest Crist. Now this ice type pal will offer you a level two in lumbering, a level two in mining, and a level two in cooling. So to get this dude guys, the parents must be a Mama Rest as well as a Wumpole. Breed these two together guys and you should get the Mama Rest Crist. It's as simple as that guys. Next up, people, we have the Mosander Lux. So this electric-looking panda mofo will offer you a level 2 in generating electricity, a level 2 in handiwork, a level 2 in lumbering, and a level 3 in transporting. So quite the work beast, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so to get this, guys, his parents need to be a Mosander as well as a Grisbolt. These two must be bred together in order for you to get the Mosandra Lux. Pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, and next up we have the Dinosaur Lux. Now this is a great pal, I'm not gonna lie. It's a dragon electric type. Who wouldn't want one of these? Now it offers a level two in generating electricity and a level two in that lumbering. So to get this guys, you need to breed the Dinosaur as well as the Rayhound. Breeding these two parents together guys will reward you a Dinosaur baby. Next up guys, we have the Joe Hug Crist. So this little ice hedgehog, this little ice element power will offer you a level one in that cooling. But he is a cute little fella, let's not lie to ourselves. So its parents here need to be a Joe Hug and a Pengulit. Read these two together guys and you'll get the Joe Hug Crist. Simple as that. Next up, guys, we have another mythical beast in the Frostalian Nut. This is one of the best you can breed in the game, in my opinion. And because this dark type, horsey-looking mythical beast creature will offer you, and I think it's the only pal in the game, who will offer you a level 4 in that gathering, so pretty cool. But it's actually going to be a hard job for you to tame this because one of its parents is Frostallion. Now, Frostallion is a world boss, a legendary world boss that comes in at a level 50. So good luck there getting this dude. So yeah, one parent needs to be Frostallion and the other parent needs to be the Halzefer, I believe that's pronounced. Um, but yeah, breed these two together, guys, and you'll get the Frostallion. Not 
So good luck with that one. Next up guys, we have the King Packer Crist. So this ice type pal will offer you a level one in gathering and a level three in that cooling. Okay, so to breed this guys, you need to have the parents of King Paka and Raindrix. These two must be bred together in order for you to get the King Paka Crist. So good luck there. Next up guys, we have the Lilene Nut. So this dark element power will offer you a level three in that handiwork, a level two in gathering and a level three in that medicine production. Now to breed this fella, you need the parents of Lilene and Manesting. These two must be bred together for you to get the Lilene Nut. So do what you gotta do there people. Next up guys, we have the least Punk Ignis. So this fire type pal will offer you a level one in kindling, a level one in handiwork, a level one in gathering, and a level one in transporting. Now his parents need to be a standard least Punk as well as a Flambella. Now these two must be bred together for you to get the least Punk Ignis. So do what you gotta do there people. Next up guys, we have the Blaze Howl Nut. So this fire dark type power will offer you a level three in that kindling and a level two in that lumbering. Now to get this guys, you need to breed together Blaze Howl and Foulbat. Breed these two together and you'll get yourself a Blaze Howl Nut baby egg. So do what you gotta do there people. Next up guys, we have the Robin Quill Terror. So this ground grass type power will offer you a level two in handiwork, a level two in gathering, a level one in lumbering, a level one in medicine production, and a level two in transporting. So quite the work theme. So its parents need to be a standard Robin Quill, as well as a Fuddler. Read these two together guys, and you get the Robin Quill Terror. Next up guys, we have the Bron Cherry Aqua. So this water grass type power will offer you a level three in that watering. And its parents are, it need to be a Bron Cherry as well as a Thwack. Does that say Thwack? Uh, take away the A and that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, read these two together guys and you get the Bron Cherry Aqua, pretty cool. Next up people, we have the Serpent Terror. So this ground type power looks like a water theme, but it obviously ain't, will offer you a level one in gathering. Now his parents must be a standard Serpent as well as a Doom mod. Breed these two together guys and you get the Serpent Terror. Pretty cool.
Next up guys, we have the Gobfin Ignis. Now this little fire type pal will offer you a level two in kindling, a level one in handiwork, and a level one in transporting, pretty cool. Okay, so to breed this dude, you need the parents of Gobfin and Ruby. So yes, breeding these two together guys will give you the Gobfin Ingus, nice. Next up people, we have one of my favorites, the Suzaku Aqua. So this water type flying monster will offer you a level three in that water room work suitability trait. So its parents need to be a Suzaku and a German Tide. These are two pretty hard to get powers, I'm not gonna lie, but reading them two together guys will give you this Suzaku Aqua, so pretty cool. Next up, people, we have the Reptile Crust. So this Ice Ground Power will offer you a level 3 in mining and a level 3 in cooling. Pretty cool, guys. So to get this, guys, you need to breed together the Reptile and the Foxical. Breeding these two together, guys, will give you the Reptile Crust. So pretty good. Next up, people, we have the Hangyu Crist. So to get this one, guys, you need to breed the parents together of the Hangyu and Sweet. Breeding these two together, guys, will give you this cute little critter, the Hangyu Crist. Next up guys, we have Lylene. Now Lylene is a grass type pal who offers a level four in planting, a level three in handiwork, a level two in gathering, and a level three in medicine production. Now to breed this fella, you need Mosanda and Patelia. Breeding these two together guys will give you a Lylene, so pretty cool. Next up guys, we have the mythical firebird of Valoris. Now to get this power people, you need to breed together Van Worm as well as Anubis. Breeding these two together gives you this amazing mythical bird known as Valoris. Next up guys, we have Grizzbolt. So this electric type pal will offer you a level three in generating electricity, a level two in handiwork, a level two in lumbering, and a level three in that transporting. So quite a decent pal for that base. So to breed this dude, people, you need to breed together Mosanda as well as Rayhound. Breed these two together guys, and you'll get a Grizzbolt baby. Next up, people, we have Orzerk, who is an absolute monster of a pal for sure. Now, to breed this one, guys, you need to breed together Grizzbolt and Relaxorus. Breeding these two together, guys, will give you this Orzerk, who is a monster of a pal you don't want to miss out on.
Next up guys, we have another amazing bird known as Shadow Beak. So Shadow Beak will offer you a level one in that gathering, uh, but to breed this one, you need to breed together Kitson and Astigen. Breeding these two together guys will give you the Shadow Beak pal. So pretty cool people. So yes, there we have it for the 28 special combinations that specific parents needed to breed specific pals, so pretty cool. But also guys, five other pals which you can only get from breeding two of the same parents. They are Frost Stallion, who's a world boss, a legendary pal. We have Jet Dragon, again, a world boss who's also a legendary pal. Palladius, who is also a world boss, a legendary pal. And Necromus, again, world boss, legendary pal. Um, these you have to have two of the same parents to get the baby there's no other pearls you can breed in the game that result in a baby one of these and we also have guys the Montide Ignis again both parents required to breed a baby and there we have it guys guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one